Hey, what's up guys? Man, what a nice day today. It's going to be hot though, I can tell. The sun's already cooking me. But uh, anyway, I'm standing here in front of this beautiful piece of machinery. Candy. And I see you saw who popped their head up over there. That's Don McCord. And uh, if you can see over there, you can see over there, Chad Keegan is over there washing Fiona. And uh, we decided that we we're gonna have a little bit of a cab over party. We're gonna knock some stuff out. These guys volunteered to come over and, and uh, eat some hot dogs and hamburgers and work on trucks with me in the blazing heat. And uh, really appreciate that. We need to get some of this stuff knocked out. And uh, well, let's get after it, huh? Let's do some spray. Starting fluid in there. Wham! Got him. She on fire. She's good. Fill her up. Basically, just shoving this in here for now, folks, because we don't have. Um, James has a tool, but we don't have it right now that we can run this little channel. There's a little channel for a little locking strip that you basically put on both sides and that locks it and pushes it out to where this thing can't plop out. And unfortunately, this didn't have it in before and that's why there were screws drilled up in there. So if any of you guys are wondering why you should watch the Chad Keegan YouTube channel, this would be why, because you yeah, wear man. stuff like this. And you never know what you're gonna do or <laughs> run into or be working on, to be honest with you, because I've worked on about five different things today yeah, in different right, trucks. So you when you do it, try to shove the inside in first and then yeah. and then work the outside. Make sure okay. you get up here though. You know what I mean? You shove yeah. a, it just plops right in there. And then you yeah, she's going in. Look, it looks good it. so far. Yeah, it's it's honestly not that bad at all. I thought this was gonna be a lot harder than what it's going in, but yeah. Honestly, we might need to redo it because it's probably too tight down here too in yeah. the bottom. And it'll just pop out when you get Bumping that's around. why but that's okay because we can just pull the bottom out we have the rest of the stuff that's going to be a problem in uh -huh. so it's not like it's that big of a deal your corner look like my corner sucks well it's, it, i mean i can i can do the same thing we did like with these yeah that's for now suck. for now you know until we get the buttons and then we can kind of because we yeah, can actually pull what's odd is the fact that that is showing in the front and yeah. that doesn't even yeah. go back as far, but then yet yeah, you come over here and it's over the yeah. front yeah. and then it's like perfectly it's matches up back over here. Yeah, it's all screwed up. Yeah, you did. Nice. Yeah. yeah. So we're gonna hook this up. Obviously I've got a couple spots that I've got to worry about there, that window and stuff like that. And I haven't done anything like that. We're just gonna get the outside wet real quick. So we've got um we've got most of this this side's blasted off honestly that was black in there that cleaned up pretty nice that one not too bad i mean they're old so this paint actually doesn't look too bad obviously you've seen jp and uh don doing that stuff cleaning it up a little bit so i'm gonna move over to the other side because it needs done too obviously you know what i mean you couldn't do that but we'll blast some of the front here but uh, just enough, probably. This this is a forever job. There, if I if I only worked on that truck, it's at least a whole year. If I could get the pieces in a timely manner. Why they ever decided to not have a unibuilt sleeper on every truck? Why is it? Why is there a space between the two with a rubber gasket? Because they won't be a pull moss. That way they got that stretch frame, man. You want to look at a stretch, man. Yeah. I see what you're saying. Mormon. Yeah, old Black Betty. Blind lamb. It's got the cool pinstripe on there. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try not to paint it, but I, bl I blasted some paint off the door with mm -hmm. the power washer. Damn. Where the stickers are out? Yeah. And it's worse on the other side. Come on, dude, have a hot dog. I already had one.
gonna he's gonna put his Chad Keegan shirt on. How come I look like you guys drug me around behind the truck? That's what it looks like. All right, Gary, scoot over a little bit. All right, stop. Don, scoot in a little bit. You're in the sun. Come more. Perfect. Garrett, scoot over a little bit. Okay. I'm gonna move. I'm gonna move the truck. You can't see that. Yeah, it's just in the way though. I got you. Okay, now let's stand by. Here I come. All right, guys. Everyone move. All right. So, what's up, guys? Man, <laughs> so here we are hanging out in front of this beautiful piece of machinery, Crystal. And so we're wrapped up for the day. You guys know Don McCord. He's been hanging around a lot. He's pretty good at electrical. He's been helping me out on some stuff that I really hate to do. Y'all know Chad Keegan, Chad's YouTube channel. Don's got a YouTube channel. Everybody who watches my channel should go and check out Don, Don's channel. They should jump in there, click that subscribe button, watch all the videos he has all the way through to the end. Absolutely. Click the thumbs up, leave a comment, you know, help Don out. He's just, he wants to grow his channel. Uh, Don's a good guy. We got a new guy here, and uh, I don't know how many of you guys know him. You got your own YouTube channel, right? Yeah, with mighty five subscribers. Five subscribers? <laughs> well, we're, we'll see if we can't make that 35 subscribers by tomorrow. <laughs> That'd be awesome. But what's your channel called? 18 wheels rolling 18 wheels rolling check him out he's a young guy he's interested in some of this old iron he's a driver he's Not only uh that he drove five hours he drove to five hours today to hang out with absolutely us and meet us. absolutely oh, yeah. and we've uh, been talking to him for probably a year, a year a, a year at least on facebook and yep. stuff and he's been watching our videos subscriber so yep and he's interested in you know How old are you 21 21 21 Man. years old dude this guy this guy he's at the at the beginning of a lifestyle and a youtube life and uh we should all support him man his, his channel is going to be pretty good he may end up coming over here doing a little work for us we're working on the details on that but uh i just wanted to you know shoot a couple minutes we've all been kind of just doing whatever uh chad and and Garrett were up in there changing the sleeper boot. It's hard to get any any footage in there, but they shot some footage. We'll be able to check it out on their channel. I've been working on the engine on Black Betty. Did I just say the sleeper boot on Marla? Or did no, I? You said oh, the did I? Boot. Okay, the sleeper boot on Betty. Um, I've been working on the engine, but just about to take the head off. So we're gonna wrap that up. Uh, Don's been working on Marla. It's a mess, but he's he is gaining on it. We're just about ready to. Uh, shoot some freon in the ac and see if that thing will blow some cold air but anyways guys we all appreciate you coming don't forget to like all our channels subscribe if you haven't click that little thumbs up give it a give it a comment and uh don't forget to check out jamespretty.shop get you some swag we'll see you next time heck yeah oh until then we will see you and then, and then, uh,